Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and what I have for you here is a nice geometry problem. So the objective is we want to find the area of a sector of a circle. Effectively, that is basically like a little pizza slice part of the circle as represented right here. And uh, the specific details of this problem is the following. The central angle, which is this angle right here, this is the center of the circle. The central uh, angle is 2 pi over 5 radians, and the radius is 7.2 feet. So that is enough information to be able to calculate the area of this particular sector. So feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer uh, into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And of course, we're going to walk through step by step on uh, exactly how to solve this. Now, if some of you are confused about radians, maybe you don't even know what a radian is, don't worry, I'll explain that as well. All right, so again, uh, feel free to use a calculator. There is a couple of formulas involved, but nothing overly complex, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. The area of that sector would be the following. It would be approximately uh, 32.6 feet squared, okay? 32.6 feet, uh, 32 excuse me, feet squared. So let's suppose you have like 30, uh, 32.55 or something like that. And you said, well, nah, I was pretty close. And of course, I kind of rounded up a bit. But here's the deal. If you didn't give me the proper unit of measure, all right, so we're talking about area of a sector. We're talking about area. It is critical. Um, most math teachers will take points off if you don't, uh, you didn't put in the proper unit of measure. Now, some of you might say, what are you talking about? You're telling me you would take points off if I didn't put in the feet squared? You know, a lot of students would be like, you know, you know, that's just unfair. That's so mean. Well, listen, you know, your teacher wants you to, you know, understand the concept of area, right? So what are we talking about here? Just a quick review. If I measure from point A to point B, distance is like in feet. Right? So that's like a uh, linear uh, displacement from here to here. If we're talking about area like a carpet, and this is in feet, this is in feet, and I wanted to know the, the area here, the area is going to be in feet squared. And then, of course, if we're talking about uh, volume, like a cube or a box, like so, then we're going to talk about this is uh, feet, this is in feet, and here is this is in feet. So when we multiply all that together, we're going to get feet cubed so that's volume feet squared is area and then feet is just distance so these are not little trivial little side things so i only emphasize this because a lot of you out there probably think this is just kind of a minor detail so when you're taking a test an exam or you have a question like that really focus in on the units of measure all right but uh, anyways if you got this completely right let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and a plus a 100 percent and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know a few things about the area uh, of a circle and the uh, sectors of a circle. All right, so let's get into this right now. And this particular problem, we're dealing with radians. Okay, so that might throw a few of you off. Hopefully not. So uh, let's take a look at a, a similar problem, but this time we'll use degrees. Okay, so there's a couple facts that we need to know here. So Let's say that this arc from here to here, okay, this particular uh, sector, so we have a sector, this is the center, and the radius is five centimeters, okay? But let's suppose that this arc from here to here is 75 degrees. What can we establish about the central angle, okay? Well, the central angle and the arc measure is the same, so it's also 75 degrees. So that's just one fact that you need to know, all right? So the central angle and the arc formed by the central angle is the same, all right? So 75 degrees, 75 degrees. Uh, but again, this problem is a little bit different because I gave you the central angle, but you know, it's the same as giving you the arc measure. Okay, so now kind of just standing back here, so what are we trying to do? Well, we're trying to find the area of this entire circle first, okay? But that's not the actual area we want. We, have the, we want the area of this little pizza slice, okay? We want the area of this portion of the circle. 
So how much, um, uh, what percent of the circle are we looking for? How much of the circle, uh, you know, are we seeking to, you know, find the area from? Well, easy. It's basically 75 degrees out of the full circle, right? So this is 75 degrees, the full complete circle is 360 degrees. So it's this uh, ratio right here, or this percentage, or this fraction of the circle. This is how much the area is. So the way you find the area of a circle is to get the area of the complete uh, circle, and then just multiply it by this uh, percent or this fraction, basically, right? So here, again, we're working with uh, degrees. So this is 75 degrees. So we know a complete circle is 360 degrees. No problem there. So we just go ahead and do the actual math. So here is finding, um, this is the area of, of this particular circle. So it's pi, the radius is five centimeters. We just put five here. Uh, so five squared, that's radius squared. So we'll uh, multiply it by 75 over 360. We, now we know in advance, we're dealing with centimeters, right? So we're gonna end up with centimeters squared is our final answer. So this is gonna be five over 24 times 25 pi. And when we do that, we can just actually leave our answer like this, 125 pi over 24 centimeters squared. Now I'm doing this problem this way because I wanna show you that it's perfectly acceptable. Matter of fact, it's um, almost recommended sometimes that you leave that pi in your answer. So this is what we would con uh, consider an exact precise answer. So let's say your teacher says, find the exact value of the area of that sector. Okay, you would leave the pi in because pi is an irrational number. It's um, a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. So you, it, in other words, you can't go like, oh, 3.14 and use a few, you know, like six, seven digits of pi, you'll still end up with an estimate. So if they say, or if the question is, find the exact uh, area, just leave that pi in. And of course, we can change that pi out for like 3.14 and get a rough estimate of the answer. Okay, so basically, this is how you do this problem. But uh, this is an easy problem because we're dealing with degrees. So now let's get into the actual problem and uh, talk about radians. Okay, so radians. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. There's another way to measure angles, right? Hopefully you are familiar with radians, but basically what you need to know is the following. One complete uh, lap around the circle, okay, is two pi radians. In other words, two pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. So we're doing the same thing here. We're just using radians, right? So for this particular um, circle, the central angle again was two, uh, two pi over five radians. So that means that arc measure is two pi uh, over five radians. So we want two, two pi over five radians out of the two pi. Okay, this is the, the, or the ratio, okay, or the, uh, the part of the, of the circle, uh, circle's areas that, define, that defines the area of that sector. Okay, so hopefully I didn't fumble on my words too bad, but uh, you know you can see how this is the same setup as the previous problem. Okay, but nevertheless, we still have to find the area of the full, uh, full circle, area equals pi r squared. We have the radius 7.2 feet squared, and then we're just gonna multiply uh, the air, that area of the entire circle by this right here. So we'll clean this up here as well. So let's go to see this work. Let's take a look at the area real quick here. So area is equal to uh, pi uh, times the radius squared, 7.2 squared. 7.2 squared is 51.84 times pi. This time we'll switch out that pi, get approximation. We'll use the decimal value, 3.14. That's very, very rough. So we get the area of the entire complete circle, approximately 162.78 feet squared. Remember the radius was in feet. So now going back to um, this uh, arc, uh, uh, set up here uh, that defines the sector, we have to figure out what two pi over five divided by two pi is. So two pi over five divided by two pi or two pi over one. 
uh, this works out pretty uh, nicely here. So this is just 2 pi over 5. Uh, here's division. That's going to turn into multiplication. We're going to flip this upside down to 1 over 2 pi. And you can see here that our 2 pi's cross cancel. So that's just 1 fifth. So what does that mean? Well, really, that just means that this sector, okay, with the arc length uh, or central angle of 2 pi over 5, is just 1 fifth of the circle. Okay, so all we need is 1 fifth of the area to define the area of that sector. So we've already found the area. We'll divide that by 5, right, i.e., multiply it by 1 fifth, and we get approximately 32.6 feet squared. If you need additional help in geometry, check out these courses right here. So in my pre-algebra course, I have a couple of chapters on basic geometry, but uh, if you have to understand all things geometry to include uh, proofs, then you got to check out my full geometry course. Now, if you want a good math review of basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right, so I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.